So in the last recording, um, we looked at how to um, send parameters to um, from one send parameters to another parameter in touch uh, using a Python expression. So the one thing that we haven't looked at yet is how to get data from DATs. And um, it's a little bit different in terms of the syntax than parameters or getting channels from chops. And uh, I'll show you why. Uh, let's quickly create a table. And uh, if you just create a single table in touch and you right click after activating it, you can add a column and then you can add uh, a few rows just to have a little grid and uh, let's even add one more column. And so let's say that I were to put uh, a couple of different elements in here um, and just so that we have different types of things inside of here. And now let's say that we wanted to uh, grab whatever is in the cell and put it somewhere else. So um, let's just get, for example, a level top. And let's just put a movie in real quick so that we have something that goes, that the level applies to. And let's say that this cell here is supposed to store, uh, for example, the opacity. Uh, which always goes from 0 to 1. So let's put a number here that's more relevant. Let's put 0 0.5. And let's say that we want to use this cell for opacity and somehow this cell is being updated. We don't know exactly how, but let's imagine that that's the case. And so we want to tie this to that. And in the previous uh, exercises that we did, um, it's somewhat easy to just like right click and copy and then paste in here and do an export or something like that. But when it comes to DATs, there really isn't a way to do that. And so we want to do this using Python. And so I'm just going to do another uh, text stat here so that I can type this and hopefully it's easier to see than putting it in the parameter window. And so um, once again, I'm going to use the op to call the operator. Operator is table one. So I'm going to close that. And if you remember in chops, we would open a bracket and we would point to a specific channel. Well, in this case, we have to point to a cell, and a cell in a grid is always marked by the combination of the row and the column. And if you have the right combination of row and column, you can always identify a cell. So in this case, we have this first row, which as we know now, touch starts counting at zero. So this will be row zero, this will be row two. This will be column 0, and this will be column 1. So sorry, row 0, row 1, column 0, column 1. So this is going to be in row 1 and in column 1, right? So there's only one thing that can be at that particular intersection. And the way you do it in touch is that you basically write those two things separated by a comma. So now if I copy this, and I put this inside of my opacity here, you can see that now the opacity has switched to 0 0.5. And if I were to change this number to 0 0.8 or to 0 0.1, it will adjust accordingly. So that is an important thing to, um, to know uh, in terms of how to, how to uh, target a specific cell. Now the thing is that you can also do that by um, using um, its name. And so we're going to do that in the uh, next recording.